born in poverty, they were outsiders who came to the golden shores of America to make a better life for themselves and their children. Most came from the poor regions of Europe, Irish, Jewish, Italians, and Sicilians. But honest work was hard to find, so they banded together into communities and sometimes criminal enterprises. Blood Letters and Bad Men is the story of the latter, a brief video narration, if you will, of these men from their first criminal act to their last breath. It is not my intention to glorify the mob lifestyle, but to try to understand it, as well as understand the why, the who, and the what. My name is G. Marshall Johnson. As a youngster, I rarely read a book. When I was 13 years old, while visiting with family, I saw a book sitting on a coffee table at my uncle's home titled Blood Letters and Bad Men, a narrative encyclopedia of American criminals from the pilgrims to the present by J. Robert Nash. Its title intrigued me, so I picked it up and began reading, something which brought a tear to my mother's eye. My uncle saw my interest in the book, so he asked me if I would like to keep it. It would not be an exaggeration to say that I have read the book and all the biographies contained therein over 100 times. I was especially interested in the history of organized crime, be it Mafia, Camorra, Jewish, or Irish. And the way the biographies were written, well, the stories came alive to a 13-year-old boy who prior to that time never read a book. And so I dedicate this channel to my uncle and to J. Robert Nash. Since first coming across Blood Letters and Bad Men, I have read hundreds of books on the subject of the history of organized crime, and I never seem to get bored. One of my recent favorites, to which I give five stars, is Culotta, The Life of a Chicago Criminal, Las Vegas Mobster, and Government Witness, co-written by Dennis Griffin, and the eyewitness to the events, Mr. Frank Culotta. Another book I highly recommend is The Five Families, The Rise, Decline, and Resurgence of America's Most Powerful Mafia Empires by Selwyn Robb. Philadelphia crime writer George Anastasia's book, Blood and Honor, Inside the Scarfo Mob, The Mafia's Most Violent Family, is one which once you start reading it, you can't put it down. I read the entire book on a Saturday afternoon. And last but not least, The Outfit by Gus Russo. This is the most comprehensive work I have read to date on the subject of the Chicago mob. All of these titles are available from Amazon and most can be purchased as a digital download. I wanna thank you for your interest. Please subscribe if you would like to receive updates when new biographies are posted. And I hope you enjoy my YouTube channel, Blood Letters and Bad Men.